and it's time for Pop Quiz. <laughs> and we have two viewers at home competing for a chance to win a very cool prize. Yes, and we are joined by our trivia host, Brian McMillan. Hey, Brian. Hi there. So excited for this one. We're joined by Kaylee from Mount Vernon and Savannah from Maple Valley. And they're going to be competing for a chance to win a McDonald's gift card. Kaylee, you're going to be with Maria today, okay? Sound good? And Perfect. Kaylee, it says here that you can DIY anything. What have you done yourself lately here? What big project have you done? Um, right now, I'm currently redoing my kitchen, and I do a ton of woodwork and painting, and I can make anything. Just give me a picture, and I will try my best. That is oh, really cool. impressive. Oh. <laughs> Very <laughs> impressive. All right. I might have some work at my house. I know. I know. Uh, Savannah, Give me a call. <laughs> Savannah, you're with Carly. Savannah, you've been watching our station since you were a little kid, huh? I sure have. My parents watch the nightly news every night. I, Casey and MJ and Aww. everybody. And I just, I love the new crew that they put together. So love watching you every morning. That is so cool. Oh. That's Thanks for watching. Makes me feel good. Yeah. All right, so here's how Pop Quiz works. I'm going to ask each of you four questions. They're all multiple choice, and you have 15 seconds to answer. If you need help, you can ask your teammate, either Carly or Maria. You can only do that one time, and keep in mind, they don't know the answers either, but they may be able to help you out here. So in honor of Women's History Month, today's category is women. Woo! Everybody ready? Yes. Y'all yes. ready? Okay. Let's play Pop Quiz. And we're going to start with Kaylee. Kaylee, this is your question. Which former legendary news anchor became the first female co-anchor ever of a nightly news program in 1976? Is it A, Katie Couric, B, Barbara Walters, C, Diane Sawyer, or D, Connie Chung? I'm, I'm guessing between Barbara Walters and Diana Sawyer's but I'm going to go with Barbara Walters. Barbara Walters is correct. Woo! Yes, that's correct. Yeah. Very nice. All right, Savannah, your turn here. Oh, the baby. <laughs> <laughs> Which woman is the most awarded artist in Grammy history? Is it A, Beyonce, B, Taylor Swift, C, Alison Krauss, or D, Aretha Franklin? I think it's Taylor. I think it's Taylor. Taylor, I'm sorry, that is wrong. It's actually Beyonce. Oh. Beyonce. Queen B. Make it Queen history. B. That track. Yeah, yep, there you go. All right, well, but that's okay. You're still in it. Don't worry. Okay. We'll send it back to Kaylee. Hi. Kaylee, who was the first female Hi. justice on the United Hi. States Supreme Court? It looks like Kaylee has a little help. Yeah. 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 <laughs> is it A, Ruth Bader Ginsburg, B, Sandra Day O'Connor, C, Sonia Sotomayor, or D, Amy Coney Barrett? I think this one's A, Ruth Ginsburg. I'm sorry, that's not correct. What? It's Sandra oh. Day O'Connor oh. is the correct oh. answer. I thought it was RBG also. Yeah. But it's all tied, or it's, it's still one to, one to nothing. You can earn back a point here, uh, Savannah. So, Savannah, which woman was ar arrested for voting in the presidential election of 1872? Which woman, woman was arrested for voting in the presidential election of 1872? Was it A, Susan B. Anthony? B, Mother Teresa, C, Harriet Tubman, or D, Rosa Parks? <laughs> um, uh, Carly? I, I would go with either A or C, Susan B. Anthony or Harriet Tubman. Okay. That, okay, you got, that was me too. Uh, C, <laughs> I'll go with C. Harriet Tubman? I'm sorry, that's not correct, but you were right with A. It is oh, Susan B. Anthony. Painful. Susan B. Anthony is the correct answer. But it's still anybody's game. Okay. It's one to nothing, Kaylee. All right. Here we go. Kaylee, which of the following women, women were uh, was the first female U.S. Secretary of State? Was it A. Condoleezza Rice, B. Hillary Rodham Clinton, C. Kamala Harris, or D. Madeleine Albright? Um, Hillary Clinton. No, I'm sorry, that's not correct. Oh, These are tough ones. They are tough, are tough ones. They are tough It's actually Madeline Albright. Madeline Albright. Mm. Okay, back to Savannah. Savannah, which of these was not invented by a woman? Was it A, a circular saw, B, a windshield wiper, C, pantyhose, or D, the very first Monopoly game? Which I'm of pretty sure it's C. 
Pantyhose. See, pantyhose is correct. Yay! Yes, is correct. Nice. Very nice. All right, so we're all tied up now. One to one. I'm nervous. I know. Nervous. This is, this is a barn here. burner. Here we go. <laughs> Back to you, Kaylee. In 1932, Amelia Earhart was the first woman to do what? Was it A, fly in the Air Force? B, fly solo around the world? C, fly a plane? Or D, fly solo across the Atlantic? Um, I know she drove a plane, so I'm gonna go D, fly solo across the Atlantic. That is correct. Yay! Very nice, that's nice. very, very good. Yes, <laughs> D is correct. All right, so it is two to one now. Savannah, you can tie this up with a correct answer. So here it is. Which actress has won the most Oscars? Is it A, Frances McDormand, B, Katherine Hepburn, C, Meryl Streep, or D, Elizabeth Taylor? Oh man, um, C? C, Meryl Streep. I'm sorry, that's wrong. No, it is uh, Katherine Hepburn, but Meryl Streep has the most nominations. That's right. Oh, she has the most right. nomination because mm -hmm. it feels like every year it's like, okay, she's nominated <laughs> for Best Actress. That means that, Kaylee, you win. Congratulations. 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 Job, that was a great one. Those were, those were tough, they weren't they? Tough. That was, that was you know? yet. Was, that, was that the hardest I think yet? so. All right. Well, if you want a chance to uh, enter uh, to win fun prizes, head to fox13seattle.com. You can click on Studio 13 Live. It's always fun, you guys. Yeah.